Located north of Edgewood in Clayton County, a 184-acre former state park holds natural and historic treasures. Come along with Notes on Iowa as we explore Bixby State Preserve. Part of the broader Silurian Escarpment, which features several eastern Iowa state parks and preserves, the spring-fed Bear Creek gurgles through a 200-foot deep valley forming the heart of the preserve. The well-weathered dolomitic limestone stands exposed at many points along the rugged landscape, offering a glimpse into Iowa's geological past. The fractured bedrock allows for a diverse network of underground caves and crevices to create unique microclimates, especially on northern-facing slopes. Over a hundred years ago, miners hoping to strike lead dug into a limestone hillside at Bixby to access the below-ground labyrinth. Local legend suggests the miners abandoned their effort after digging at least 80 feet into the hill due to freezing temperatures within the cave. During the early 20th century, enterprising Iowans started selling ice harvested from the cave, and a 1930s newspaper account describes a wagon load of ice coming out of the cave at Bixby. Formed from cold air seeping into underground crevasses during winter months to chill bedrock and freeze water, pulling air from above down and out of the cave entrance, the resulting micro climate, called an algific slope, results from cold air seeps like the one found at Bixby State Park's ice cave. While locals tell of gathering ice for ice cream or cooling contraband beers for teenage parties at the cave, the site has drawn visitors since at least 1887. During the late 1880s, R.J. Bixby bought the lands which eventually came to bear his name. Featuring a spring-fed creek which twists through a scenic canyon connecting bedrock and prairie, biodiversity blooms at Bixby. With his initial land purchase of 69 acres, R.J. Bixby sought to escape into nature. Building a summer cabin at the site, the Iowa legislator and Edgewood businessman allowed others to enjoy the lands locals quickly started calling Bixby's Park. As early as 1903, local papers noted pleasant picnics and the need for better roads leading into the park. Starting in 1918, Edgewood locals started to step up to help provide maintenance for the lands at Bixby's Park. At the time of renowned early Iowa naturalist Lewis Pamel's 1919 book, Public Parks of Iowa, the site had gained a significant enough reputation to lead Pamel to call Bixby's Park to quote, one of the beauty spots of Iowa. While Pamel helped to found and establish the Iowa Conservation Commission during the late 19-teens and early 1920s, Bixby stood as a focus for acquisition. By the time the state of Iowa got around to purchasing the lands in 1926, hard times had forced Bixby to sell the lands to a man named I.P. Gates. Edgewood residents, led by the local commercial club and other area locals, helped to raise funds for the initial purchase. Many individuals pitched in with donations to help the state secure the initial purchase of Bixby State Park. With the lands in hand, by the late 1920s, the park stood ready to offer Iowans a truly unique escape into nature. With the onset of the Great Depression, development temporarily stalled at Bixby until the new deal provided civilian conservation corps workers to help develop public lands throughout the country. The CCC arrived at Bixby and built picnic areas, constructed trails, improved the area around the ice cave, and erected several buildings including a shelter. A cement road connecting the park with nearby Backbone State Park also provided a focus for workers during the New Deal era. With the departure of the CCC and the onset of World War II, the park stood largely completed. While an era of pleasant picnics and memorable outings to the ice cave ensued, locals eventually grew frustrated with the lack of maintenance provided by the state. The Edgewood Commercial Club again stepped up to provide basic maintenance for the park consistently throughout the 1950s and 60s often hosting work days at the park annually. During the early 1970s, the state shifted management of the park to the Clayton County Conservation Board. However, the agreement proved short-lived, with the state regaining control and moving the lands into state preserve status in 1979. New status created for properties with specific historical, geological, or biological features, an additional land purchase of 115 acres west of the stream predated the status change by a year. Preserve status also limits the type of maintenance provided to the park, However, the Iowa Department of Natural Resources still provides basic services, the CCC picnic shelter, and parking area. Today, Bixby State Preserve offers visitors a variety of opportunities to enjoy the outdoors in northeastern Iowa. Bear Creek still quietly bubbles through the steep ravine, and the ice cave still amazes visitors. The CCC picnic shelter still stands proudly waiting to offer a place to spend a pleasant afternoon. Trails wind through the scenic preserve, offering hikers a rugged challenge. Next time you find yourself looking to get out and enjoy Iowa's public lands, consider a stop at Bixby State Preserve. A truly stunning representation of Iowa's natural beauty and a testament to the necessity of maintaining opportunities to get outdoors for all Iowans, Bixby State Preserve shines a must-visit for all people hoping to see Iowa slowly. 
Thanks for coming along with Notes on Iowa to explore Bixby State Preserve. Make sure to subscribe to the Notes on Iowa website, subscribe on YouTube, follow on social media, and tune in each Sunday to explore the history of Iowa State parks, preserves, and other public lands. I hope I'll see you out there. There's a lot of good history about Iowa. A lot of people don't even know about.